All right, question number 5A. This is to do with construction equations and something to do with areas. Okay, so we've got to construct an equation, okay, given this information. All right, so we have to link this information together in such a way that we can make an equation. And the link is obviously here the area. So it's the area of the shape A, B, C, D, E, F is 24 square centimeters. Okay, so the area of this whole shape is 24 square centimeters. All length sign centimeters show that 5x squared plus 17x minus 12 equals 0. So the way to do this question is to basically if you have here what's called a compound shape. It's a shape where we don't know the area of it. Now there's many different ways of finding the area of this. Okay, many different ways of finding the area. One of the, the classical ways is just to split into two shapes, two, two rectangles. So you can have a rectangle that goes from um, you can from E down here to here. You can like split it vertically. You could have split it horizontally. We could even made one big rectangle and found the area of the part that isn't there and subtract it from the whole rectangle. There's lots of ways of doing it. I'll do it in this way. Let's call this part let's call this part rectangle A and this part rectangle B. Now I need to know some of these lengths here. I know for rectangle A, I know the, the dimensions are 3x plus 13 and 3x plus 9. That's the width and that's the length. For B, well, I don't know this length. I need to know the length from here to here. Okay, I need to know this length. And I also need to know the length from there to there. Then I can work out its area. Okay, I can have an expression for its area. Now, I know that from A to B is 4x all the way across. And from F to E is 3x minus 9. Now, I know this is going to be the whole length minus Fe. So if I want to find what this length is, I take the whole length and take away this part. So it's 4x minus 3x minus 9. So this length is going to be 4x minus, now you've got to be careful, put that in a bracket. 4x minus 3x minus 9, that will make a difference, that bracket, because a minus will make that into a plus. So 4x minus 3x is 1x. Minus nine, minus, minus 9 gives you plus 9. So this length is x plus 9. Okay. And here you've got BC. Now, the whole length all the way from there to the top is 3x plus 13. That's 3x plus 13. We need this length over here. Now, this length over here is going to be the 2x, which is from there to there, subtracted from 3x plus 13. So it's going to be 3x plus 13, and then take away 2x. Because yeah, there's only one term, you don't need to have a bracket there. So 3x minus 2x is equal to x. You have x plus 13. So I have now two rectangles. Okay, I have rectangle A. Rectangle A, whose dimensions are... You've got 3x plus 13 and um, 3x minus 9. That's rectangle A. And I have rectangle B. Rectangle B, okay, whose dimensions are, you've got x plus 9, and the other dimension here is x plus 13. x plus 13, let me just make that a bit neater. x plus 13. Okay, so now if we find the area of each of these rectangles and add them together, I will get the area of the whole shape. So I have 3x plus 13 times 3x minus 9, okay, plus I have x plus 13 times x plus 9, and I know the total area is equal to 24 square centimeters. So I know that when I add these two together, I'm going to get 24. Now, hopefully, if we expand this correctly, we're going to end up with the same expression that we see here. Okay, the same equation we see here. So you've got 3x times 2x, which is 9x squared. And we've got 3x times minus 9, which is minus 27x. You've got 13 times 3x, which is going to be plus 39x. And we've got 13 times 9, 
That's going to be 27 plus 90, which should be 117, minus 117, plus, and you've got x squared, plus 9x, plus 13x, plus, same, same number, 117, 13 times 9, is equal to 24. Okay, so now let's try to tidy this up. We've got 9x squared plus 1x squared, which is 10x squared. Okay, so we dealt with the x squared. I'm just, just get them out of the way. Then you've got minus 27x plus 39x plus 9x plus 13x. So 37, 39 minus 27 is 12. 12 plus 13 is 25. 25 plus 9 is 34. So we have plus 34x. So we got rid of all the x's. And then you got minus 117 plus 117, which is 0. Um, so you got plus 0 equals 24. Now we want to have everything on one side. It says equals 0. So you got 10x squared plus 34x minus 24 equals 0. And we can see that each of these terms are divisible by... 2. So you're going to have 10 divided by 2 is 5, so you've got 5x squared, 34 divided by 2 is 17, plus 17x, and 24 divided by 2 is 12, and there we have it. We have now answered part 1 of this question. Okay, I'm going to just stop the video and I'll do the next one on part 2.